Los Angeles-based painter and musician Lynn Phelps is a free-spirited American artist. Now 78, his first work was exhibited more than 50 years ago. For most of his career, the art market has had little interest in him, but in recent times that's begun to change. Two Los Angeles filmmakers have spent seven years following Phelps, creating a portrait of the man and his work. They see him as inspirational. Lynn is an incredibly charismatic, charming individual who has worked his whole life on his artwork when people weren't paying attention, when people were paying attention. And um, I think he's sort of the, the triumph of the spirit, of the independent spirit, in that he just keeps making his art no matter what people say or if nobody says anything. And I think that best describes his character because he, he's a one-man band. He's going to keep making music and art whether he has an audience or not. Wow, I have so many things I want to do. I'd love to do an L.A. musical, you know, with all the songs I have and the music and, you know, dancers, people. Is, but I'm getting tired of being a one-man band. In the documentary, Lynn Fouts speaks candidly. He expresses his anxieties. His articulate, definitely not a boring subject. He's just a very fascinating character. He's very open. So you sort of knew right away that that if you turn a camera on this guy, he's going to open up for you and and tell you, you know, his deepest, darkest secrets. Is basically what he did. Fouts' art is hard to categorize. He has a non-conformist streak. His work includes landscapes, assemblage, and portraits, some quite disturbing. Some large pieces involve all kinds of items being attached to the painted surface. His work can take a very long time to complete. We start out the film with him finishing a painting that took seven years, and he completed that. And then we find out later on that there's a, there's a painting that he'd been working on for much, much longer. So it sort of paralleled our film, where we could have stopped at certain points and it would have been done. Lynn always talks about his work where I could have stopped here, I could have stopped there, but I didn't think it was finished. What he likes to say is it's never finished until they take it away from me. It's the same thing with our movie. In the late 1970s, Lynn Fout started to build what he calls the machine, a musical instrument which enables him to function as a one-man band. What out there is a band down on our street. Music is part of his repertoire. He clearly gets a lot of pleasure out of performing. Fouts is an artist, but the filmmakers don't see what they've put together as an art film. You don't have to know anything about the art world. As a matter of fact, you'll learn a lot about the art world. Um, you don't have to be an artist, per se, but you will find that it speaks to you. That's my hope, is that it'll speak to each person who sees it about the choices that we make long into our 70s. And you smile through your tears and sorrow, smile. Ah, oh, there'll be tomorrow, then the sun will come shining, and then the sun... Will it hasn't always been the case for Lynn Fouts, but right now there's a lot of interest in his work. This year, a retrospective of his art was on show in Los Angeles, featuring some 100 pieces. It's now on view here at the New Museum in New York, and later in the year it will travel to Germany. Six feet tall.